Good evening. Welcome to Miss T-Girl TV Live at Nine. It's our very first show and uh, we're unscripted. We're making it up as we go along, so uh, please bear with us. My name's Leslie and this is... I'm, I'm Rachel. And I'm Martina. And uh, we're, this is our first of our weekly live broadcasts that will hopefully go out at nine o'clock every Monday night. And it's to really be a sort of a live forum or chat um, for all things related to tea girls. So we'll cover any subject you may like to discuss, from makeup to clothes to shopping to the tea girl scene to uh, hormones, gender therapy, any items like that, uh, anything anyone wants to talk about. Um, you can get in touch with us, you can uh, ask questions with us live, um, or you can even become involved in the show at a future date if you wish. I'm Leslie and I'm a personal stylist for Tea Girls and Cross Dressers. I live in Leeds but I can travel if anybody wants any advice or any help. Um, I am also a North England representative for the Beaumont Society and I'm hoping Joanna is going to join us one week as a guest to have a chat about the Beaumont Society. Also, I have a nice selection of clothes and uh, bags and shoes, etc. But if anybody would like to come to my home, they can try different outfits on and they can also uh, purchase these things as well. So, <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you, Leslie. Because, you know, without people like you, I would still be thumping around in a closet. And that's part of the miracle of this whole... Tea girl fellowship, isn't it? That that has just somehow sort of happened in my life, um, and 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 it happened to such an extent that it has totally and utterly, and completely changed the way that I think about myself, the way that I think about my sexuality, my gender, and my whole being. And it is down to people like you and and Rachel who organise these sort of let's say, night out, that organise Leeds First Fridays, that organise Evolve, and, and, and that have enabled us to realise that we are, we are actually not, okay, we're somewhat eccentric, I think, probably, but, but you know, okay. And it, it's all right to be the me that I want to be. Uh, and, and, and what other people think really doesn't matter. But without, without the without the structure that is there, without the Beaumont Society, without the, 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 the sparkle and without Leeds First Fridays, and without Manchester Canal Street and things, my life would still, I, I would be, well, I wouldn't have a life. I know that, that, that I would, yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, and what I have now is an unbelievably complete, happy and free life. And it's down, it's down to people like you. So, you know, I'm here to say thank you for what thank you do, you. both yeah. of you for what you do. Because, yeah, as I say, you've completely altered my life. And maybe I'll go into that a little more detail if we get time a bit later. Thanks. So, so. You're welcome. Well, it's also a thank you to people like you, Martina, who uh, make all these events work. Um, you know, it, without the people turning up, then there wouldn't be these events in the first place. So it is very much a community, and it's about bringing people together. And, you know, if, uh, I, I help to try and create some of the framework for that. And if that helps, then that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and I do know that it's like an awful lot of things that, yeah, the more, the, the more that I put into these things, the, the more I'm going to get out. And, yeah. and that's mm. very much how, sort of, you know, I now have the confidence to live my life as I want to live my life. Um, and, and the freedom that I find in, in, in Leeds um, and in the local area now is, is just, well, I believe so... I don't honestly know whether it's it's that that's different or whether it's me that's different, um, but it's either way. You know, things times have changed mm -hmm. a, a, an awful lot in the last in the last what I suppose what twenty years have changed yeah. enormously, mm -hmm. and um, and th and the and the use of the internet. I mean, and, and it was through the internet that you know I came to be able to sort of be Martina. Uh, that and through. TV chicks and these other sort of contacts and, and chat rooms etc um, that, that just you know, did not exist uh, and when I was 
I suppose, you know, when I had the opportunity to to live my life or to, to direct where my life is going to go, then it was, I was just too damn scared to do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know. <laughs> I've spoken to quite a few girls um, that haven't come out before and they feel very, very nervous, extremely nervous. Um, but I would say to any girl who's watching now that hasn't come out, Leeds First Friday is the place to be because there's so many girls there. Rachel and Tanya will welcome you. Um, and it's just like a big fun holiday, isn't it? There's so many girls and it's a really good night. And you will make other friends. Yeah, I, th I think Leeds is a, is a very good venue to come out in with the Leeds First Friday format. Because uh, it's, it's a very compact area. There's a lot of bars, clubs, restaurants, hotels everything all in very close vicinity um, and it's a very safe environment very liberal very welcoming environment um, so if anyone isn't interested in coming out to Leeds First Friday um, I'll, I'll be talking a little bit more about it in, in future programs um, but I can be contacted at, at any time and always willing to help and give advice and if anybody out there knows of any other venues, um, please send a text and, and tell, tell us, you know, where you like to go, where it's welcome in, because um, we're always open to new ideas and suggestions and um, where we can all meet up. Absolutely. And, and uh, on, on that line as well, if anybody has any particular problems that they are experiencing in their transgender journey um, with, with, either with, with, with individuals, with employment, with whatever... Uh, or just sort of personal problems that they want to talk about, um, either anonymously or named. Then you know, we're here to we're, we're here to do that, and it will be, you know, part of our our aim is to is to have, as we said, guests in. But part of our aim also is to be interactive, and mm -hmm. to be able to sort of you know give our spontaneous answers to uh, things. We don't necessarily mean it's going to be you know the right way or the uh, right answer or the right answer. I'll say hello to a few <laughs> friends that. I think are hopefully out there, which is uh, Kimberly from Scarborough and Gemma and Gina from York. So hi to all of you, and uh, please sell in, send in your questions and support, and uh, we're, we're thinking of you. Yes, yes. And I'm going to say hello to Sam. Hi Sam, I hope you like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> hi, <and> I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm going to say hi, but I'm going to say hi to, uh, to D, to C. To C, to J, to N, to M, and say hi guys and girls, and um, yeah, if you are Yeah, watching, you've got a lot of friends, if you? Are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Well, I told you I was going to do this show tonight, you see, and they said, what? Yeah, these the are Martina I, show. These are, these, are, these, are, these, are, these, are, these are people that I ride with at work. Ah. Uh, like... you know? Yeah. And, uh, and so, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> and um, I shall wait for the, for the, for the suitably admiring responses by text or if you wish to say something a little more personal then you can do it tomorrow morning cheers <laughs> also if any of the girls are interested in having makeovers we also have a photographer so you can have your photos taken as well while you're looking absolutely gorgeous and um, I can give you details for that later um, have you had your photos done Rachel I've had quite a few photo shoots over the years um... Non recently, but we we do have um, a number of links with photographers in the Leeds area and and elsewhere in the country. So, again, um, uh, anyone who's interested in photo shoots or makeovers or, or many other services, we can uh, we can provide links to all those, and hopefully we'll try and get on um, some photographers in the future who can talk about what services they provide, um, show some examples of the work. Um, and just explain whereabouts they are and, and what, what they can offer. Yeah. yeah, that's very good. So... <laughs> okay. Martina, it's your right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Welcome to the Martina show. <laughs> yeah. This isn't about me, it's about... Okay. Yeah. It's about me, come on, let's be honest. <laughs> it is about me. So how did I get here? <laughs> um, okay, I got in the car and I drove here 50 miles. And that's... In itself, it's a miracle. The 50 bit is actually, should really be 50 years 
of pretty serious sort of struggle with my feelings that I didn't understand and couldn't cope with and so directed in all sorts of other ways um, and hid. I suppose hid not only from everybody else but hid from myself as well. And in a nutshell that with certain, let's say, assistance from various chemicals that altered the way that I felt and thought, uh, that nearly killed me. And the second time it nearly killed me, I realised I had to do something about it. I was very fortunate to find recovery from my sort of, let's say, addictive behaviour. And at the same time, I was also extremely fortunate to find this fellowship of, of, of tea girls, you know, of Chinese. So I could sort of, you know, I went from being a very unhappy, in inverted commas, normal, um, successful, professional, working, uh, working all hours, because that was one of the ways that I sort of hid from myself. Um, to being and, and, and so so damned unhappy inside that all I wanted to do was to die. And I went from that to being the happy Chinese that I am now. And it's not been let's say a sort of no, it didn't happen overnight. It's happened extremely sort of slowly, which is in a way is good. Um, and it's happened, I suppose, in some ways sort of despite myself. Um, some nearly nine years ago, a therapist that I was seeing said, would I consider changing sex? And I just sort of ridiculed it and said, don't be ridiculous. That is, uh, that is just so crazy and so un sort of unlikely. Don't be silly. And like an awful lot of things that I sort of dismiss out of hand, they sort of tend to sort of have a nasty habit of coming around. And I, despite being, having had, I would say, yeah, undoubtedly the best part of my life. The best eight and a half years, the best eight years that I can recall in any way. I do have to face the fact that I can't stand still. And it's by, it's by talking to other girls, other Tea girls at various stages of sort of transmit transition and acceptance and things that actually sort of enables me to be able to sort of make decisions in some sort of slightly more rational way uh, based on their experience, and I think that's one of the the big big joys of being part and parcel of this of this family because it is you know we we all have this sort of common link of the fact that we're sort of, let's say, a little unusual maybe, uh, but yet we're all individuals within it. And, it's, and it, it's, it is, it's a wonderful, wonderful fellowship without any sort of <coughs> formal rules or guidelines or anything or, or, or sort of instructions. We can just come, we can be ourselves, we can be free, we can have the confidence and we can have the safety in numbers. And yeah, I just think it's, it's one of the best things that's ever ever happened to me. Can I just ask you, Martina, yeah. how did your family feel about it? <clears throat> well, I mean, there is no doubt that those sort of that were closest to me were those that suffered the most. Um, my daughters have accepted Martina in that sort of, well, two of them have been to a, a, a big night out, which is another nice venue down, mm -hmm. down, in, down in the south, south of Watford. Or uh, well, actually, it's north of Watford, isn't north it? Just Watford. south of Watford Gap. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, but a couple of my daughters have been down there. My daughters are sort of now into their, well, well independent and. Uh, um, You've got four girls. I have four daughters, mm -hmm. um, and they are absolutely sort of. They they'd rather have a happy tiny dad <laughs> than a totally unhappy dead one. Yeah. You know. So and it's a little. Let's say it's it's somewhat more complicated as far as the relationship with my ex-wife is concerned. Uh, but sort of somehow or other finding the freedom uh, by a sort of accepting that I am who I am, what I am, um, has really, has, has given me 
freedom that now I, I, I have my, I don't have any other close personal involvement with anybody, you know, so I can explore my own life. I'm so enjoying misspending my youth all over again, <laughs> you know. Are you dating? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Martina's looking for a date. So if you'd like to text in with your number. They've got to be fit and they've got to be fresh from the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, a I hero, need a hero. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I do need a hero. They've got to be pretty crazy. They've got to be interested in horses and they've got to be you know, fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to keep up with you. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>